Okay, so let's continue with the thought of an anchor point in manipulation. So let's understand what I mean by that. So as an example, I'm going to create a simple rectangle. Now, my objective here is I'd like to have a rectangle that has some kind of perspective, which means that I want to create a lamppost over here. Actually, let's create a smaller rectangle. Okay, so if I'm standing here and I have a wall, the wall vanishes to the back. Basically, the wall is going to get taller here, but smaller here. So how do I simply take the rectangle and make it taller here, yet smaller here? Well, there's a couple of ways to do this, but I want to teach you these simple. If you master anchor point manipulation, it'll open up a whole new world to you. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there that create 10, 12 steps to do something you could have done in two steps if you understand the program. So how do we do this? I'm going to select this anchor point. I'm going to select this anchor point. K, my preferences are set up to 36 pixels from before. That simply means that when I hit the arrow key, it's going to move my object, my select object, 36 pixels. I'm going to select this anchor point. Hold down the shift key. This anchor point. So if this anchor point is going up, well, guess what? This anchor point is going up. So I basically just do this. Problem solved. Perspective. Simple. It was one step. One step. I did not use the scale tool, the shear tool. Drive myself cuckoo wacky. Want more perspective? Hit the arrow key up. So there is my perspective for my wall. Now I'm going to go to the reflection tool. Letter O. Get to know the four transformation tools. That's going to make you a master user if you get to know the four transformation tools. We'll cover that detail in another video. So I'm going to hit the O key. Now, I want to leave room for my little lamppost here, so I'm going to reflect from this point. I select that point. I hold down the Option key. Grab the wall. Move the wall. Hold down the Option key to make a clone copy. The Shift key to constrain it. Simple, simple, simple. Now, let's select the two and simply scale it down just a bit. As for scale, and scale this at 75%. Let's put that right here. So, now we want to put a lamppost here. So, I simply hit the rectangle tool. I create a rectangle from the top to the bottom. Let's make it lamppost brown. You know, most lampposts are brown. I'm going to hold down the command key, the option key, move this down a little bit, arrow key. Now I want to create a oval from the center. How do I get a oval from the center? I hold down the option key, drag from the center. And move this down just a bit. And yellow. And there's my lamppost. Now, of course, the proportions are wrong, so we have to scale it down, but the concept is there. Simple, simple, simple. Anchor point manipulation. If I select these two anchor points, I can go this way. I can go this way. If I select just this anchor point, I can move that anchor point. Okay, now I'll show you an amazing concept. Most people think it's some kind of trick what I'm about to show you. It's so simple, it's frighteningly simple. Anchor point manipulation by using the transformation tools, the scale tool, the reflection tool, the shear tool, and the rotation tool. So we're going to get started by simply creating an oval. Now, my objective here is to create a life preserver. You know, you've seen the things that the lifeguards throw into the ocean, a life preserver. So I'm going to make this white. I'm going to select these two anchor points. These two anchor points go to the rotation tool. Pick a point to rotate from the center and rotate around, holding down the option key to make the clone copy fill this with blue. So if I stroke, if I stroke this with black or whatever color I have, there's my life preserver. Simply, simply done. Command semicolon incidentally hides the guides. Command semicolon makes guides, hides guides, makes guides, hides guides. Simple, 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 simple graphic. I just simply started out with an oval. Manipulate it, the anchor points. Command zero fits window. Command plus zooms in. Command plus moves out. Command zero, not command O. Oh, command zero fits window. Okay, now I'm going to show you one of my coolest tricks ever. Well, maybe not the coolest, but it's up there. I'm going to use that same premise. Command semicolon. Let's bring back our guides. So I'm going to use the oval. 
create an oval from the center, option key. There's my base oval. Now, notice that my stroke is orange, my fill is white. If you want to reverse that, or let's say my fill is yellow and my stroke was X key blue to demonstrate here, right? I have a stroke of blue and a fill orange. Let's say I want to swap that. Shift X, Shift X swaps the stroke for the fill, the stroke for the fill. Shift X swaps the stroke for the fill. I don't want to give this a stroke. X key to select the stroke and forward slash key to delete. Now here's my objective. I want to create a simple graphic of a skier with goggles and next to him, his wife, mistress, girlfriend, with your choice of blonde or red hair. So let's get started here. I'm simply going to select these two anchor points. First of all, I'm going to select this anchor point to move this down a bit because faces are not round, faces are oval. I'm going to select these two anchor points. Go to my scale tool, pick a point to scale from about the bridge of the nose and scale down. Hold down. Option key to make a cone copy. There, make sure this is fill. There are the goggles. Okay, now I want to create a skin tone. Select the same two anchor points, go to the scale tool, pick a point to scale from, and scale down. Hold down Option key to make a cone copy, and we'll just make that a skin type of color, like a, maybe a pink type of color, like there. Okay, so there is the male skier. Graphically, it works. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the left and clone copy this to the right. And now I'm gonna make his wife, sister, girlfriend, mistress, your choice, with your choice of red or blonde hair. So I'm gonna select these two anchor points, go to the rotation tool, pick a point to rotate from, and rotate around. Hold down the option key to make a clone copy. Hold down the shift key to constrain it. So you said what? Blonde hair? Great. Blonde hair. Now I want to have symmetrical blonde hair on both sides. So I go to the reflection tool. Pick a point to reflect from. Pick a point to reflect over. Hold down the option key to make a clone copy and the shift key to constrain it. So there are the two skiers. Now I want to use all four transformation tools. Command and semicolon. So I simply select the two, go to the shear tool. Now the shear tool, unfortunately, the shear tool doesn't have, notice that the reflection tool has a shortcut, rotation tool has a shortcut. The shear tool doesn't have a shortcut. So if you want to get access to the shear tool, I suggest you leave it out here and simply select. So I'm going to pick a point to shear from and basically shear back to show the happy couple coming down the slopes. Simple, simple, simple. Anchor point manipulation 101.